All right, all right, all right. So while we're still dealing with the graphing of uh, ratios, let's dive into our next statement. The index of refraction of a diamond is 2.42. Construct a graph analogous to the figure 9.16 for the air diamond interface. Assume mu1 equal mu2 equal mu0. Okay, in particular, calculate the amplitude at normal incidence, the Brewster's angle, and the, quote, crossover angle at which the reflected and transmitted amplitudes are equal. Okay, so um, what we need to know is the amplitude ratio, uh, E naught R, E naught I is equal to alpha minus beta, alpha plus beta, and then uh, E naught T, E naught I is equal to 2 over alpha plus beta, Brewster's angle happens at tangent theta b approximately into it over n1. Solve that for theta b, we get tan inverse into over n1. Alpha is equal to this square root over cosine again, where we have sine and uh, cosine of the same incident angle. And beta is equal to mu1 n2 over mu2 n1. Um, yeah, let's uh, dive on in, shall we? What we see here is that for normal incident, or normal so theta i equals zero we like that a lot of things seem to cancel so beta is equal to uh since mu naught equal mu one equal mu two those cancel easy enough beta equal into over n one uh numerically that simplifies to 2.42 alpha uh once we push that in we see that alpha goes to um one minus one over beta sine theta i, cosine theta i, uh, squared. Uh, we can plug in everything numerically in the next step and put sine of zero is zero, so who cares? Cosine of zero is one. So we see that alpha is equal to one. Good to go. So with that, the ratio of r and i is equal to one minus 2.4, one plus 2.4, so that's equal to negative 0 0.415. t over i is equal to 0 0.585. And of course, we'll see that in the diagram soon. Brewster's angle, easy enough, happens at about 67.5 degrees once we plug it in. The, quote, crossover angle occurs when R equals T. So if we set these ratios equal to one another, uh, the incident doesn't matter, they cancel, and the denominators don't matter. So what we see is that alpha minus beta equal 2. And what we see is alpha equals 2 plus beta equal 4.2. Um, if we substitute that in, what we see to the alpha equation is alpha squared cosine squared equal one minus sine squared beta squared. Uh, so we're just solving for the angle in this case. Cosine squared is in red. That way we can write everything in terms of sine squared after we substitute in the Pythagorean identity. As you see, we distribute or multiply everything by beta squared as well, just to get rid of that fraction. Um, and with that, after that, we simplified alpha squared beta squared 1 minus sine squared theta equal beta squared minus sine squared theta. Distribute, of course, and we see that uh, we get sines on one side, and then we'll factor sine out, and we'll factor beta out as well. So uh, in the next step, we finally solve for sine squared theta, which gives us alpha squared minus 1 times beta squared over alpha squared beta squared minus 1. Again, take the square root take the inverse sign and plug everything in. Once we do that, again, I'm a big, big fan of solving everything algebraically before we go straight to numbers. Here we see that this is equal to about 78.06 degrees or 1.3 radians. Um, now we just need to see where these things are on the diagram. All right, so again, we have the ratio of the transmission to incidence in the green. We have the ratio of reflection to incidence on the blue. We see that the Brewster angle happens when the reflection is zero, which happens at 67.5, which is exactly what the mass showed um, when we graphed it. And then here, the uh, green uh, crossover angle happens at 78.05, which is exactly what the mass showed um, again, we see that at 90 degrees, they all have to add up to one. And if that's the case, what we see is that, um, we have, uh, the reflection going straight to one at 90 degrees and the transmission going to zero 
physically as you'd expect, but literally everything else is on par. Um, easy enough. It's really quick. I like these diagrams. They tell a lot and they're easy to follow. We see that at zero incident angle, we have the coefficients that we want it, 0 0.585 and negative 4.15. So everything is working out as expected. Beautiful.